Right, good morning everyone. I'm just going to do another project with you. Um, it is a plaque. It's Well, it's more than one plaque actually. And I'm using this as a template. I'm going to enlarge it because I want a, two ovals. So, and I need them at least an inch apart. Uh, an inch wider than what I've got here. And the only way I can do that is to mark this one out. That's the largest oval. And I need to do an inch, sorry, excuse me, or whatever that is. What is this? Well, it should be an inch. It is. So I'm just going to make sure that I mark out an inch. all the way around doesn't have to be perfect but we can get it near enough I don't have an oval big enough Just an inch, you see, like that. I do, I'm just going to chop this in half to make it easier to work with. with my thumb ring on and I don't want to bend that there we go and I will make a template of this because this is a, the size I need and we'll just make sure we've got that there like that. And we're just going to cut into that there. Keep that and throw them bits away. There we go. That's near enough for what I want. Like I say, it doesn't have to be perfect. use that as another template right so I've got two ovals now to work from <coughs> and like I say we do have uh, the headband to do for the um, thing in me, Bob. <laughs> what do they call it? The thing in me, Bob. Yes, say hi, Joe. Into bigger box. Hi, everybody. 
Yeah, what do they call it that I'm making with the headband? I forgot, he's gone out of my head. The um, mermaid thing in my bob. I'm making a headband for a mermaid. I need a to do the box, dear. How big? Probably twice as big as the one that I've just got. So I don't know what you've got. What did you I'll get? I'll show you. Uh -huh. I'll show you. Is there anything breakable? Uh, just the key cabinet. That's just... the one I had. Oh, but, um, do you want to put it in that and cut it down? Um, hang on, I know, sorry, just hang on a minute. Right, I can continue. Sorry about that. Uh, so, now we've got those. I just need to cut. Um, I'm not doing it right up to the edge because I like it to fold over the edge a little bit. Keep all your oddments because they do for filling. Yeah, that's enough padding on, we don't really need any more. Okay, so now what I've got here. Right, so we've got those. Now I've got this grey material. I'm going to do grey and pink uh, because we've got this as well. Remember the um, embroidered organza and it's lovely and it's grey so it'll look lovely around this. But I'm going to put some pink in it as well. So right now let's do the first one. And this is going to be a matching pair. That's one. That's... And what you do is flip them over and then I'm just going to cut them about an inch away from the edge. I mean a half inch would have done but I'm doing an inch just to be on the safe side. First one. And then we'll do this one. And then what you're going to do is to snip them every so often, about every inch. And you do it up to the line of this, not this. I do it uh, an inch um, to the sides because that way when I've glued it on I can cut it off any excess. And then what you do is you start and glue them on. I'm 
just going to glue that first one on and we're going to do that one so you do 12 o'clock, 3 o'clock, uh, sorry 12 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 9 o'clock and do it that way and then you'll get a nice even-ish um, but taut front I'm going to do the material, it's just easier and I can manipulate that into place, just pull it like that and then you just start and fill in these sections so I'm just going to do that pull that over, try and leave it that you've got one in between so that you can pull it into shape like that and you pull it over and you get a nice finish Don't worry about these ends, you're going to cut them off. There you go. Uh, see, that's nice crushed velvet. Really pretty. And then we're just going to work around and cut any excess off. They're going to have a backing on, so it doesn't matter. There's no point in having it too bulky. And I think that'll do nicely, like that. Now we're not going to put the backing on yet because we're going to put some uh, of this on. Now, of course, I'm going to pleat it all the way around. So we're just going to do the first one. Because it's not gathered. I don't want to gather it. We're going to pleat it. So I just cut it off straight. And then what I'm going to do is we're going to have to work that way. Just on the edge, and I'm going to need my finger dobber. So, we're going to do that on the edge, like that, and then I'm going to pleat it one, like that, and just do that.
It is a tedious job, but it needs doing. <coughs> That should be enough. I'm just going to make that one more. Oh, we can cut that there. That'll do. And then just fold that back just there. And that'll be fine. There. Ooh, pretty. liking that but this is a pair uh, of plaques now floral ones so I've got um, make a central flower I'm not sure if I'm going to put anything else with them at all so we need um, a good 20 inches but let's do it this way. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. Oh, well, that'll do, I think. That's enough. So I've done about um, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45 centimetres again. Okay, so that'll be sufficient for what you need. I'm just going to get some fresh thread. And I'm just going to take a picture of this as is before I do anything else. Right. So we've got that there back in the middle to make sure I'm working from the same spot. I've got my thread. I'm just going to make one of my handmade flowers. It's just a running stitch. your uh, subscription you know whatever so just double check that you're subscribed to the channel i don't mean those that pay for a subscription what about those that are just subscribed to my channel uh and uh if you're not subscribed please subscribe and you know it does help me now this is going to be central they're just going to be basic flowers but with a hint of pink i think I like that, that's nice. I don't really want to put a... Let me make sure we've got that in the right place. There, that'll do. Oh, that's pretty. Bedhead, see? 
<laughs> That's what you could do, put a bed head on. Um, I'm beginning to think I might not need a lot of pink. I do want something like, so we'll just add what we can. See what we've got here. I want, ooh. Yeah, but I want to make sure that I can, oh, uh, is that the right pink or this pink? I like this pink. And this goes nice with blue as well. Yeah, I think we'll do these. So, let's have a look. Wait, it's... I'm going to put one th item to it that's going to make it stand out. And then these are going to make it look elegant. But you'll see that in a minute, what I'm going to do. And it's one little thing can make all the difference to a project. So these are just going to be elegant. Nothing, you know, too much for it. So just hang on. Uh, Joe? Yeah? Sorry, love, can I just disturb you? Yeah. Um, on that table where you're working, there's a little round dish. Plastic dish with a lid. And it's got some pearl in it. Some big pearls. Oh, cheers on it. I just, have we got one that's that size? It's a bit smaller. That one. Is it smaller? That one, yeah. No, they're not the same. It's too, that's too big, that. And that's too small. Yeah, but, well, they can go back in here. Mm -hmm. I just put that one in there. What's that one? And that one's too big. Is that the same, do you think? Yeah, that's the yeah. same, innit? Sorry, love. They can come in here anyway, they're my bits that I've just collected while I'm in there. Sorry to disturb you. You're alright. Thank you, honey. So, I'm just going to put this in here, in the centre, and you'll see a massive difference. You could just leave it like that. The simple, elegant, but, you know. But I want mine to be a little bit special, so I've got this. And I'm just going to put one there. Push that down. Look, with a hint of pink. We're not finished. Not finished by a long chalk. I don't know why people used to say that, not finished by a long chalk. What does it mean? I don't know. Now, that's going to offset that if I don't put it in the right place. She shouldn't run away to herself. <laughs> Are you? What? <laughs> Why don't you shouldn't run away to yourself? What do you think I so far? Like it. Oh, it's beautiful. I love the colours. Nice, I aren't the, they? I love the colours, yeah. Yeah. So I'm, I'm not doing too much because I don't... Oh, what's that? I oh. need to wrap it. You need to... Do you want... Do they bubble think... wrap in there. But we put a piece of chipboard over that and it stood there in the box in the corner. Ow. See that like a strip of chip board? Just cut enough to fit across the front. Just the front? To yeah. save the glass? To save the glass, yeah. Right, okay. Do you want these big scissors for that chip board? It's stiff. Now the other thing I'm going to do, um, if I can, just bear with me folks, please. Well, we've got this new trim. So I can use this. It's pink and black, and that's fine. I'm going to need two of these. And I need these to be the same size. Oh, which I th didn't think of at the time. Don't waste that, that goes in handy for adding to a flower or something. Right, so I'm just going to take one of these. And we're going to go three, you know, like uh, about an inch. Okay, so get the right way around. That's the top now. There. I'm just going to do that. And then what I'm going to do is to glue this. I'll do it that way. I 
turn the top of that and we're just going to lay that on the back like that as you can see there's the edging so if I was to do that you see it's got a little edge around it I'm just going to pull that back And drop that down and that completes a very quick and very easy plaque oh stunning stunning I'm just gonna do the other one now altogether I probably used uh, two yards on each of this Right, so I'm just going to finish off with this. Oops, gone a little bit over there, but by the time I put this on, that will push that down there. That's right. going to finish this so something as simple as a one flower with a couple of flowers added in for decoration and look what you've achieved now can you imagine buying these in the shops they'll charge a fortune for them especially in the high, high streets There we go. Perfect. And that's how you do them. Two gorgeous plaques. Matching plaques. I hope that's helpful. Thanks for watching. Take care. And I'll speak to you all soon. Bye bye for now.